Mr. Lowe. What are you doing, Mr. Lowe's? Mr. Lowe's! Hello. I'm about to write a story. So, the first thing I need to think about is who will the characters be? Oh, yeah. When I draw my characters, I like to use shapes to help me. Circle for the head, oval for the body, some longer ovals for the arms and legs. And I use those lines and shapes to help draw those characters. When I do this, I push a little bit harder with the pencil. Now I can rub out those lighter lines very gently. Now that that's done, I'm ready to add colour. When I write stories, I like to use my friends as the characters. Me too, Mr. Lowe. This character is my friend, Tokes. And this one is my other friend, Jazz. There. Hi, Dog. Hey, Jazz. Wow. Where are we? Oh, no. How'd you get it? This is Scotty. Likewise. Yeah. Why is everything white? Hmm. I think I might change Jared's shirt. It's a bit too, it's a bit too out there. Too much yellow and orange. But that's okay. Mistakes happen. Yeah, I, I know. Just rub that out. Oh. <laughs> what happened to your shirt? Get that on it. Maybe a nice red jumper would look nicer. Oh, that's better. Oh, you got your shirt back. Where did yeah. that come from? Again, I have no idea. That's weird. Now that I've got my characters ready, I need to think about where is the setting. I knew that. So where will these characters be? Mr. Hmm. Lowe's, I knew that. I know. Maybe, maybe they could be in their backyard. Oh, we're in my backyard. How did we get here? I don't know, but thank God I'm not any taller. We're oh, yeah. Way. Wouldn't want you hanging around. Thanks, man. That means a lot. Oh, that's all good. I know. Maybe they could be at the beach. I love the beach. I've been to the beach. Oh, the beach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. I, I wonder how they turn these into bread to make sandwiches. I also love coffee. Maybe they could just be at home drinking a coffee. Hmm. But I do like coffee. Maybe they could have coffee at a cafe. Make up your mind. Don't make me drink bark again, are you? No, I won't do that again. I'll let you enjoy your coffee. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, that's it. I've decided. The beach. I'll have the setting at the beach. Mr. Lowe's, make up your mind. After you finish your coffee and your food.
Okay, I think we're ready for the beach now. Oh, we're back at the beach. I know, water. Ooh. It's wet. Has water always been this wet? Yes. It's water. Interesting. Uh, so what are we going to do here anyway? Look at the water. I think we should pump the yabbies. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. What? Here you go. I'll draw you a yabby pump in a bucket. Cool. With this. Cool. How do we get this? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. It does anything? Ah. Oh. Fine. Okay, so you start at your house and you're you drive there in your car. <sighs> Such a bossy character. It was early in the morning yeah, when too. Tokes and Jazz were packing the car. Where are the fishing wheels? Asked Jazz. They're in the boot. Replied Tokes. Look, here they are. So they set off in their car out onto the wide open road. They were feeling really excited. And if you looked at their faces, it showed. Ah, oh, here we are, said Tokes as they reached their destination. There you go, the toilet, said Jazz. Okay, frowned Tokes. It's too much information. Before they could go fishing, they needed to catch some bait. Wait, seeing her at the beach, I'd really like a shirt. That would be nice. Honestly, so picky. That's a nice shirt. I really like that. Really? Black's the worst colour. You can't get any worse than black. Really? You ask me for a shirt, so I give you a shirt, and now you're going to complain about the colour of the shirt. Would you rather I just made you have no shirt again? Black's fine. They pumped and pumped for yabbies. They made sure they each had a turn. Yeah, you try. Tokes was really good, and he helped Jazz learn. Wait a sec, guys. I need to colour you in. <laughs> Stay still. I need to colour you in. Tokes, stop. <sighs> oh, I got another one. Oh, perfect. I reckon that'll be enough. Oh, I think so. Yeah, that's plenty. Let's go fish. Let's go. Once Tokes and Jazz agreed they had caught enough, they walked back to land and grabbed all their stuff. Let's go. There you go. Now it's time to put the bait on the hook. Tokes explained. I don't know how. Replied Jazz. Yeah, I'll show you. Said Tokes. Yeah, come and look. Jazz watched carefully as Tokes hooked the bait. Once they cast in their line, it was now time to wait. They sat down on the sand and talked about whatever. 
Thanks for helping me today, folks. Said Jazz. You're really clever. You're welcome. Replied Tokes. What else are friends for? And they both sat together and looked out from the beach. That didn't rhyme. What do you mean? I said four. Beach doesn't rhyme with four. Hmm. That's a fair point. What word could I use instead of beach? Hmm. Maybe instead of saying beach, he should say shore. Oh yeah, that would work. All right, I'll write it again. Ah. You're welcome, said Turks. What are friends for? And they both sat together and looked out from the shore. After a while of fishing and a few failed attempts, Tokes and Jazz caught nothing. And Jazz was feeling tense. It's okay, Jazz. Tokes explained. Life isn't always about winning. You're right, Tokes. Agreed, Jazz. Now he was grinning. On the way home, Jazz parked his car once more. Why are we stopping here? Asked Tokes. Why are we at the stop? Looks like we caught a fish after all. <laughs> and back home they went, wet pants and all. I hope you enjoyed that story. See you next time.